a game. Spins a web, any size, catches seeds, just like guys. Look out, here comes a Spider-Man. Hello YouTubers and comic fans alike, welcome to Comic Call, and today I'll be discussing Spider-Man's web shooters, because Spider-Man Homecoming comes out soon, and oh boy, it'll, it'll, it'll be a movie, that, that's for sure. Anyway, usually I start these videos with a short origin of the related character, but that's Spider-Man, so I'm still gonna do it. Peter Parker got bit by a super spider and became Spider-Man, and in his conquest to fight crime, he created mechanical web shooters to be more spider-like. The web shooters are two devices which are worn on Spider-Man's wrists, hidden underneath the costume, that can fire specialized web fluid at high pressure, created by Peter Parker himself. The web fluid is usually consistent, but can be used in different ways. It can be ice webbing, acid webbing, taser webbing, magnetic webbing, lead-lined webbing for radioactive purposes, flame webbing, and quick-drying web cement fluid, meant for holding unstable buildings. You can also make impact webbing, which are high-speed thick balls of web that pack a punch and a spray webbing to cover the faces of enemies and wounds, I suppose. The web's tensile strength is estimated to be around 120 pounds, or about 54 kilos per square millimeter. The web fluid is solid until pressure is applied to it, causing it to liquefy. When it makes contact with air, it creates an extremely strong and flexible fiber with adhesive properties. The adhesive properties rapidly diminish when exposed to air. After an hour or so, the web would have completely dissolved into the air. If you ever wondered where the webs go when he swings around New York, now you know. The spinneret mechanism is made from stainless steel, except for the turbine components, which were machined from a block of Teflon. With the turbine bearings made of amber and artificial sapphire, the wristlets and web cartridges are mostly comprised of a nickel-plated annealed brass. The cartridge belt is made from brass and leather, and can hold up to 30 cartridges. The cartridges are compressed to about 300 pounds per square inch. The hand-wound solenoid needle valve is actuated by a palm switch, which requires a 65 pound pressure to activate, and to also double tap it. These safety measures are to ensure that the webs never misfire, like when he's about to like, punch someone with a fist. The web shooters compress the web fluid, forcing it out of one of three adjustable spinneret holes, which make either a thin line, a spray, or an incredibly sticky glue of sorts, like I said before. When forced out of the spinneret holes, the web flies through the air, where it solidifies. As the web exits the spinneret holes, it is attracted to itself electrostatistically, and can form complex shapes and web constructs, such as a shield, parachute, safety net, barrier, club, ball, or even skis in a raft. Given enough time, he could create discs underneath his feet to walk over very difficult surfaces, such as fire. The web shooters also have a small LED light to notify Spider-Man when his cartridges are getting empty, and they can also fire spider traces, which he usually puts on fleeing criminals to find out their base operations or just in case he loses them. The spider traces only work for him as they're like a radar for a spider sense. Things for the web shooters changed when Spider-Man went through some crazy arc where he gained organic webbing. Coincidentally, around the same time as Sam Raimi's Spider-Man films came around, and he went back to web shooters around the same time as the trilogy's ending. Coincidence? I think not! Thank you all for watching my video on Spider-Man's web shooters. If you enjoyed, feel free to like the video, or don't, and subscribe for more comic book and pop culture related content. Also, feel free to check out the gaming and comedy channels, or my channel, but since you already clicked off the video, why would I bother plugging anything else? So we have like a Twitter too.